So now let's go ahead and install Qt uh, as the next part of our uh, toolchain. And uh, Qt is a uh, framework that started out as a uh, graphical user interface programming toolkit. And um, the uh, uh, URL for this is qt.io. And uh, it's a, a cross-platform system. And uh, for our particular uh, part, uh, it's very useful because it comes also with a very, very nice unit testing framework uh, that uh, we'll use in some of the assignments. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, click on the uh, download button here. And Qt is licensed on a couple of different models. It's uh, commercial grade software, but it always has been um, big, uh, a big part of the open source world. So there is a open source version of Qt, which uh, uh, you can... Uh, Gets by scrolling down here a bit and say open source users, which is right here, downloads for open source users, and let's go open source. And uh, they take you to the uh, uh, parts to uh, consider in terms of uh, open source. And um, um, once you're Okay, with all that, uh, which you should uh, review in terms of the applications for open source development. Uh, but uh, we can download the uh, Qt online installer, and that uh, should give us the option to download the installer, at which point we then have to um, choose the uh, different parts of Qt that we want to install. So, and let's close this and uh, actually run the uh, installer. And that is an installer start from right here. And we want to open this up. And here's the Qt installer. So the first thing you will need is a Qt account. Um, as uh, um, uh, usual these days. Um, and uh, they just use this to uh, check your license status and uh, of course make sure that you agree to the license terms and so on and so on. Um, and you can use, uh, because it's an open source, and you can use any account you want. You don't have to use your um, uh, KSU email. So I have a uh, personal uh, account here as well uh, with my personal email address. And once we have the uh, account set up, uh, I have to again agree to the open source license obligations and can then continue to the setup. So Qt is a fairly big system, as you will uh, see. And there are uh, many different options to choose from, luckily, on macOS, because there's basically only one supported compiler, which is the default compiler from X code called Clang. Um, so we don't have as many choices to make as on Windows. Um, but it is still a large system, as you'll see. And just don't send user statistics here to keep network load low. Uh, go with the default isolation. Uh, place uh, which is in your home directory under Qt. And uh, now we have the uh, different choices. So we're going to go with uh, the latest release. And uh, then uh, you will see that there are a couple of um, uh, couple of uh, um, modules uh, that we uh, can install. It comes with its own little um, uh, integrated development environment uh, Qt creator, which is uh, actually not too bad if uh, all you do is Qt development. Uh, we're, of course, going to use uh, something different here, so uh, there's no additional things uh, to do here. As you can see from down here, uh, 
where it actually does say CMake. Um, so Qt uh, natively supports CMake, and we'll see that. Uh, but since we already installed CMake, we don't need to install it via Qt. So this is perfectly fine. So we leave the uh, developer and designer tools alone because the default is just fine. And then uh, just go ahead and check uh, which different parts of uh, uh, Qt, um, the latest version of Qt, we want. As you can see, you can download this for many uh, different platforms, including uh, Android and iOS, by the way. Uh, Qt is very popular also for like car entertainment systems and uh, uh, these things. So right now, we uh, the only thing that we really, really need from uh, Qt uh, itself is really the macOS version. Uh, all the other additional parts of the uh, framework are really optional for us, um, and uh, uh, there's really no uh, need for us to do uh, any additional installations for that. The download, as you can see here, is uh, with uh, 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 almost one and a half gigabytes already pretty large. So let's uh, do this one more time, agree to the uh, license agreement, and now we are ready to download and install this. So installation is done. Let's uh, not launch Qt Creator. It's fine. And uh, uh, hit done. And we have um, Qt available for us. So we can now go ahead and unmount the uh, disk image and also get rid of um, the disk image itself. And uh, now in the applications folder, um, Oh, there's uh, uh, not anything there, but if we uh, actually go to our um, uh, home folder here, um, you can actually see uh, in Qt there uh, has been, um, uh, there's the Qt installation, and uh, the maintenance tool here is actually um, the, the same tool that we use to install, so you can use it to update um, Qt and everything. And then uh, here is the um, um, creator um, IDE if you ever want to uh, play around with it and then um, on uh, uh, documents well, uh, under um, um, the uh, 15.41 uh, uh, bin directory there's actually a, a nice little tool called assistant that uh, actually uh, has all the um, documentation on Qt available uh, and uh, very, very nicely organized format. One of uh, Qt's strengths has always been the uh, um, uh, excellent uh, documentation really from, from day one. And uh, now it has uh, uh, thousands of, of classes uh, available and uh, the Organization, the documentation is very, very easy and, and nice to, to navigate. So, and uh, specifically, uh, what uh, down the road we'll be looking at here is uh, really the uh, test module uh, for unit testing, which is uh, very elegant and very powerful. So, that's the installation of Qt, and uh, we're good on this one.